guys, welcome to another analysis of crime and punishment. This session will be analyzing third part, and well, here I am in the worst climate and you can see, and well, I hope that through this video I get hotter. As first point of this video, we are going to be analyzing Will Raskolnikov's vision uh, and well, his theory all around extraordinary and ordinary people. To explain this, we are going to get like have an example of these two types. And for extraordinary people, we have Leito, my best friend. <laughs> no, 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 it's a joke. We are going to have Darth Vader. And why did I choose Vader? Well, for a simple reason. Because Darth Vader has like um, he has both extraordinary and ordinary um, characteristics. First, where I'm going to speak about ordinary characteristics. In this um, items, we have that. Extraordinary people are uh, are guys that create new things that aren't the uh, well that simply they don't have like those um, they aren't controlled by other people. This means that they have the capacity for creating new things and therefore make a change in the world and fighting always for their their, their ideals. Vader had these characteristics because he was always fighting for his ideals and in that fighting he made everyone, whatever was necessary for accomplishing um, for the establishment of his ideals. First when he was Anakin in the Galactic Republic he fought for, for, for the ideals that he considered. First even he fought for you know, making some changes in the Jedi Order and for that he, he had to prove the Jedi's and he only oh, he broke um, broke up the, the Jedi law, making him like an enemy of the Jedi's, but he was making all this for establishing his his ideas. Now when we when we Transformed in Darth Vader, it's uh, more clear this extraordinary guy because he was always fighting for the establishment of peace in a galaxy where that had been summoned in in war and in conflict for more than 100 years. So he brought the he, this idea of peace and establishment through committing acts, for example, genocide. He first committed the genocide of his old friends, the Jedi, and then he started like um, eliminating all that was against this establishment of peace and all what was against the establishment of an empire that created an order uh, and, re and brought like security for all uh, the galaxy. And in this like path, as I already said, he committed many crimes. He murdered many people, he even destroyed worlds uh, with his armies, and he simply did all these things for the establishment of his idea. And these are the characteristics of an extraordinary man. But now we have also this ordinary, like, face of Vader. Ordinary people, as Raskolnikov describes it, describes them, uh, are people that simply that simply like follow things are like fish that only follow the current of the river so these people simply let themselves be controlled and or follow orders and Darth Vader it's really a clear example of this we can think that he's an an an, an a special man, and this is like contradictory with I just with with the first part of this description. 
But he at the end results being an ordinary man. Why? Because he is always following uh, orders first from a uh, divorce because he is always trying to accomplish that prophecy that was established uh, centuries ago uh, well in the Star Wars temporal line and that says that he is the chosen one and that he will bring balance to the force and through at the end, at the end he does that he simply follows the prophecy and brings balance to dark and light side uh, and also in throughout all his life he follows the orders first of his Jedi Master Obi-Wan and then of the Emperor and all that establishment of peace and all that crimes were only a uh, face um, uh, like a uh, face thing uh, false things like were all that crimes that he committed were only a fake face were only a facet thing for covering the real thing which was giving the power to the emperor and he only followed things in like a dumb one and then we have like the description of an extraordinary man which is like someone that creates new thing and makes a new order in a pre 61 and the other one that simply follows things as they are existing uh, now we have the discussion that Raskolnikov has with Razumihin in this one we can see that uh, that resume him twice to make make him f uh, like fall in his own idea, making like contradict himself. This we can see it first in uh, the way that he asks him if ordinary, if extraordinary people are born, and well, we can see that he says that they are born and that they can be recognized at really early age at a really early age because they start doing things and uh, normal things in a, in a, in a pre-existing order and secondly he starts speaking about if about if murder if if Raskolnikov is an extraordinary man and he doesn't consider an extraordinary man but then he starts speaking about the murder and if if he was an extraordinary man if he had the right for murdering and here we see that Raskolnikov like contradicts himself because he has no answer for this question, and because here we uh, and because he has like a fear from being discovered of his crime. And if he says that he um, if he was an extraordinary man, he well he will have the right for killing. He will be like falling in a falling in a hole in which he will be finally discovered as the murder of Aliyavna. Now that's all for this first part. Japan. But now um, as a second point I'm going to describe the like the vision of Raskolnikov over the crime that he committed. Throw this like logic of extraordinary man we can say that Raskolnikov even though he says that he isn't he considers himself an, an extraordinary man why? because he considers that committing the crime and killing Eliovna was like justified in order for, maybe for saving people and killing uh, an insect that what only did was making well as was making to suffer of the uh, was making to suffer of the people yeah now and well there and therefore was justified the murder of Alyovna but then suddenly appears a guy that starts shouting to Raskolnikov that he's a murder this guy really makes Raskolnikov have fear and and makes Raskolnikov doubt in, of himself. 
And uh, well, this guy is just already said he shouts him, him, he's a mourner. And then Raskolnikov, when he hears that someone is uh, shouting him that he's a mourner and counts it and, and as if it was a coincidence, he's outside of Alyovna's apartment. He like he gets really scared and turns around and goes. This shows how. This proves really how with that insecurity of Raskolnikov over the crime and how he really isn't he really isn't sure that killing the killing Alyovna was a benefit for society and that he like he isn't so sure that he is an extraordinary man. Now as a final point so I'm going to describe Raskolnikov's dream in chapter six. In this dream, Raskolnikov um, the, well, goes to Alyovna's apartment and suddenly appears Alyovna, that old woman that he, he hated with all his heart. And there's, there she is, and he gets like totally uh, surprised and uh, he gets with all his body starts feel shaking and, well, he's... Uh, He's, he's controlled by fear and takes an axe and starts hitting the, the, the old woman that he hates and that nothing happens to her and still nothing happens and he punches her and starts he wants to kill her and now nothing happens and well this is like you like the dream what happens in the dream but this dream really shows us how Raskolnikov wasn't really sure what he did was, well, he wasn't, he was totally sure fine, that what he did, killing Alyovna, wasn't justified, wasn't a thing of extraordinary people, as he said, that killing Alyovna was, oh, I'm making a new change, yeah, that, that murdered was justified not the folk were making uh as I already said a change and the he I didn't realize that what he did was simply something personal that he was that with killing Alevna wasn't making nothing new and that that murder wasn't justified because at the end he is an ordinary man. Ready? 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 Ready?